Hey guys, Zuljin here and welcome back to another episode of Dragon Quest Builders. I hope y'all are having a great day. Let's get this started again, shall we? Rolo, my... <laughs> by my bristy brows, this town is positively brimming with life. Why, I do believe that Cantlin Chronicle describes this very place. It's the perfect location to bring the legendary city of Cantlin back to life. Oh, uh -huh, my mention of the legendary tome piques your interest, does it? The Cantlin Chronicle is an invaluable volume of ancient knowledge passed down in my family over countless generations. It's many hundreds of years old and its pages tell of mankind's hapless history and the lost art of creation and construction. Deciphering the ancient text could reveal secrets vital to the restoration of this once great city. Our meeting is no more of a coincidence, Bildrick. I assure you we are destined to rebuild this magnificent town together. Uh, okay. <laughs> so, now what? Bildrick, my friend, I do not mean to cast doubt on your claims, but was it you? Was it truly you who constructed these buildings? If that were true, it could mean that you have the power to build new things, the gift that mankind lost long ago. Well, I just happen to have that, Rollo. Uh, could it be that you are the builder of whom the Cantlin Chronicle speaks, the legendary figure blessed with the power of construction? Bah, of course not. If the builder had a face like that, I'd eat my own beard. Well, you're gonna have to eat your own beard. Ah yes, Bildrick, I nearly forgot. The path across the mountains between the town and the place where you and I first met is dreadfully treacherous, wasn't it? Yeah, it wasn't that bad, actually. Well, the Catalan Chronicle describes a special tool that can be crafted from the feathers of the chimeras that dwell amid those mountains. Ah, and most convenient con con wait, a contravance that lets you travel at the blinding speed and can be back at your base in the blink of an eye. Of course, you you truly were the builder of legend. I'm sure you would have no trouble creating this item. Bildrick, my child, you need only lay your hands upon the new material to discern what items can be built from it. The chimeras you, you seek dwell at the foot of the mountains fast by this place. Use your compass to find them that you may not lose your way. The new quest mark has appeared on the compass. All right, so it's actually further this way. Let's head out, folks. Uh, you know what? It's nighttime right now. Let me grab a few of these berries. And I'm actually going to sleep through the night. I think that's going to be the best way to do it. I need to eat a little bit, too. Just a little bit. Let's sleep. Oh! Are you sleeping in my bed? Yep, you sure are. I cannot believe. I guess we have to make either another bed or sleep somewhere else. Alright, let's put these away. And I'm gonna actually consume this. Let's put that away. We'll keep a torch on us. We'll put the milk blossom bud away. The crate, a cube shaped container made from wooden planks. Oh, it's just decoration right now. Okay, that's fine. Um, I can't believe I'm gonna have to put, I'm, I'm gonna have to make another bed. I can make a bed in here. Let's make one right quick. Um, straw mattress, grassy leaves. I, I like that it uses your, uh, your, your inventory in your chest and stuff. You don't necessarily have to have it on you, which is brilliant in my opinion. All right. I, I'm gonna learn. Square is block, and um, and triangle is is attack. The point is for point sharp. I have to remember that. I like that little the little sound. It sounds like you used to sleep at a tavern. All right, it's daytime. We're ready to go now. Ripping and raring, folks. Let's head out. We need to hunt for a few berries on the way. Did I get any materials from the Drakeys last time I fought them? I don't think they gave anything, huh? No. And I don't get experience from them. Oh! Aha! Ha, ha. So, in Dragon Warrior, these were really, really hard. Okay, first Chimera Feather. Chimera Wing. A fastly. Oh, wait. 
A fastly tied fan of fluttering feathers instantly transports you to your base. That's pretty cool. Okay, we need to grab a few more though, I do believe. Uh, oh, also... Nice. Max HP increased. Oh my... They can fireball too? That's dangerous. That is dangerous. Alright. Let's kill a few more. Since we could just teleport back. Man. Oh, you heard the sound that they casted? Oh my gosh. They hit like trucks. It sounds like they casting the hurt more spell. <laughs> or hurt spell. From, uh... From Dragon Warrior. You can dodge it too, that's pretty neat. Alright. Now, I can take my creams and stuff, but I think I'm gonna just choose to go back. Oh, oh, you have to craft it apparently. You can't just. Alright. I get it, I get it. Let's go back home. Oh, wait. Maybe it doesn't do that, because the quest, see how the quest marker, oh yeah, okay, okay, unless you have to get up here or something, I don't see anything up there though, oh there's a chest, maybe it, maybe that is it, hold on, let's wait until he casts, maybe we have to go up there and get whatever it is. I am going to use some of my creams too, just to make sure I don't die. They're so easy to get. Okay, so I need 41 blocks. Let me see here. Let's see something. This is going to be kind of funny, but if I aim up... You can't... Okay, you can't place that in midair. Ah, I got you. All right. So I'm gonna have to get up here the hard way. I thought you could just like pillar up and stuff, <laughs> but apparently you can't. Okay, how about this? How about... I could place lower, huh? There we go. Alright, I'm getting it. I'm almost there. Is there any easy way to get this? No, probably not, huh? Okay, well... This is kind of tricky, you guys. Alright, now if I point... Let's see here. This is kind of tricky. How do we do this? <laughs> there is a little bit more space on the other side. Let's let's do that. Like right. Let me just get my blocks back. On this side, there's a little bit more space here. That's not what I wanted to do. There we go. So I can't I think I can pillar up just by doing this. Going back and forth like this. Yeah. So there is a way to pillar up. It's just a little bit less obvious than what you would have normally thought. One more section. Still a little clumsy here too, if y'all couldn't tell by now. Alright, we made it. What we got? Um, 
Did it fall? I want to get... Oh, okay. I was about to say, give me my stuff back. Alright, I guess we got... Okay, another seed of life. We're up to 50 HP now. Excellent. Okay, so the... You know, we didn't have to go anywhere specific. Because we got the new stuff, it doesn't matter. And I took a little bit of damage. That's okay too, though. Oh my god, I took a lot of damage. That's alright. That's alright. What? That's okay. We'll take another one of your feathers. Let's get one more to make it an even... Well, it, w it is an even 10, actually. Do I get more damage when I jump attack? That's an interesting concept. I do need some more berries when I go as well. More berries, good. I wonder what happens if I eat the mushrooms. No, I could just plant them. It doesn't allow me to eat them. I see more berries over there. Let me get the berries. They fell from the tree, apparently. And what's all over here? Anything special? Nope, but it's really dark. <laughs> I wonder, can I... Hey, hey, I put out a little bit of light when I do this. That's neat. You can probably kind of mark your trail like this, huh? Uh-oh. Stuff's casting at me. No. What is that? Okay, I, I know what those are. This is where we were originally. Like, where we spawned in at, kind of. It's okay. We're almost home. Alright, I wonder if old boy's sleeping in his own room now. Nope. They snuggling together. I can't believe he's sleeping with my boo. Let's sleep until the morning comes. I love that sound. I love it. Okay. Good morning. What can we make now? Okay, Chimera Wing. Uh, it's made with five of the Chimera Feathers. Made, oh, you can make three. Did I make all that I could? No, okay, so apparently you make three when you build. Okay, I got you, I got you, I got you. Uh, what else can we build, anything new? Ragged Rags, we already have that. And I wonder if she made anything. Yeah, she made a straw door and three broken branches. Hey, marvelous work. Goddess above, this is Chimera's wing. It's just as the Canterlith Chronicles describes. There's no doubt about it. Within the, you dwells the long lost power of construction. You really are the builder. Ever since the light was lost to us and the realm plunged into darkness, the people of Valefgard have waited for this day to come. The day that Benevolent Rubus, I guess Rubus, I don't know how to say that name, would send the Builder to save us. We're going to call him Rubus because Rubus sounds less weird. Bildrick, my child, you needed only to touch the Chimera's Feather to know which you could build from it. Seek out more materials and speak to those around you and your knowledge is sure to expand even further. Keep a keen eye out of surroundings, my child. If you know anything Wait, if you should see anything that you have never seen before, make sure to collect it. Bildrick, my friend, you and I have two vital tasks ahead of us. Firstly, we must complete the glorious restoration of this once great city of Cantlin. And secondly, we must unravel the mystery of what terrible tragedy brought the town to ruin. The place who was... Wait, this place once gir girdled? <laughs> uh, all about by fearsome fortifications, tall turrets and towers to keep monsters at bay. 
Uh, it is even said that the great golem once watched over the city, keeping the inside safe from harm. But those citadels and strongholds were completely obliterated and nothing remains of Cantlin but ruins. How could such a wretched fate have come to pass? As a proud son of Cantlin, I plan to uncover the mystery of what befell this, my ill-stored ancestors. No doubt with that, the powers and my book, it is the only matter of time before the truth becomes clear. We're all counting on you, Bildrick. Hehe, <laughs> waha. He's, uh, he laughs inappropriately. You ever met one of those inappropriate laughers that just laugh at all kind of weird moments? There's actually a condition that uh, people laugh in times of tragedy. So like somebody will get, you know, somebody will die or you'll be at a funeral and somebody will laugh very inappropriately. It's a weird reaction or something like it's a condition. You can look it up. I forgot what it's called, but uh, you know, Bill Drake, I've been on, I've been so starving lately. I could eat my own head. Um, that's weird. All of this building and inventing is hungry work. So I've been thinking, if we had something to cook with, we could make all sorts of delicious, nutritious meals. What do you say? Can you think of something you could cook things on? A pot. If you th if you can if wait if you do think of anything, put it in a room with a chest so that we can store the delicious dishes we make. So yeah, make us a room to cook in. Uh, are you gonna give me get, make me a kitchen? Eureka! Bildrick works on how to make a cook fire. Uh, a simple stand built to wait built above a bonfire. Use it to make mouth-watering meals. Light source can be used to cook food. Uh, source 150 points. All right, or score 150 points. Building a room from the ground up. Uh, a room should have two block high wall around and a door and a light source. Gather all the ingredients you need and try building one. Okay, so we have uh, quite a bit of random dirt and stuff. I think we're gonna make it connect with this house here. Well, I could have, I could actually use that. Can we destroy the sign? We sure can. Okay, I'll tell you what we're gonna do. We're gonna make it out of. We're gonna make it right here, y'all. We're gonna make it just right here. All right, let's get our. Um, well, we could. That's not what I wanted. We could actually take down some um, take down some blocks from there and use it. Okay. Now, guess everything's good. Some of this is some of this is gonna be higher than I want it to be. If we only need it to be too high, we may as well only make it too high right now. All right. So let's see here. Let's put in some blocks. No, that's not what I wanted. Okay. Now we could put a straw door. It's too wide, right? Yeah, let's put it too wide. Didn't she have a door already made? I think she did. She sure did. We'll put the door right here. Okay. And now I guess the uh, the rest of it here. Let's see. I don't know how big this room needs to be. I guess we can make it relatively... Well, we don't need to make it real large just due to the, the way that it is, right? Alright, so I'll tell you what we're going to do. Let's just place down... We're gonna kind of make it the L shape like she did here, I suppose. No, we'll make it square. We might put another door on the outside here. In fact, I think I will. I think I'm gonna put a door like right here. So let's do this first. Uh, 
Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. Getting used to the controls is going to prove to be somewhat of a challenge. Okay, I do have a door. That's perfect. Uh, I mean, I don't have a door, but I have a doorway. That's perfect, okay? Let's go ahead and make another one. Give me that dirt. Let's make one more straw door. Okay. Let's make a chest. I already have a torch. Alright. Um, oh, can I make that cooking pot now? Bonfire. Cook fire. Okay, so I need one bonfire first. And cook fire now. Nice. Okay, let's get this party started, shall we? So, let's do the door first. Fucking place it. There we go. Everybody just jump, jumps over the walls over here, man. I'm gonna have to build a doorway somewhere else, too. Okay, so now we can do the. Let's build a cook fire. There we go. Then we'll put the chest down. And. What else can we put down? We can also put this down. Oh, this takes up a little bit more space. There we go. Alright, uh, other than that, do I need anything here? We have it ready to go, right? Oh, we need a source of light. Okay. That's the only thing that we need left. Okay. Uh, we can build shrooms on a stick now. Aha! Mushrooms! Nice! You saw how he cooked that boy? He did his little dance? <laughs> and we can do fried eggs too, but we don't have any eggs yet. Uh, that's pretty cool. Alright, he doesn't have a quest yet, but she does. Let's talk to her one more time. How's that kitchen coming along? You don't have to build a new room for it. You could just fix up one of the broken rooms that are already here. For a room to be complete, it must have walls two blocks high, a source of light, and a door. To transform a room into a kitchen, simply build a cook fire and a chest and place them within its walls. Beware, my child, that the chamber you choose is not overly large. Uh, for too many rooms is no room at all. Oh, wait. Okay, so it might be too big. It may be too big. I'll tell you what. Since we already have two spots here, I'm going to go ahead and just close it off. Let's take the walls and build them like so. We're going to build them just across here. Oh, no. That's not what I want. <laughs> Dang it! Okay. Separate it just like this. And there we go. Okay, so now we could just do a cook fire and some lights. Cook fire. Now! Okay, first crude kitchen. Very good. First, okay, primitive kitchen is preparation for the unfussy fare. Residents will cook food and put it in the chest. Nice. And he just jumped right over the wall. Oh, she did. She's so hungry. She's like, cook something. Uh, blimey, you did it. You made a place to cook. Now I'll be able to make all sorts of scrummy foods. Thanks, Bildrick. I don't know if scrummy is a word that... I know scrumptious. I know what she meant by it, but... And that chest is perfect. I'll make it really, really tasty. I'll put it in there so you can try a bit, too. Quest complete. Plum berries. Thank you. Well, that was simple. Nice. All right. And we got another quest now, too. All right. So I ate that, uh, but I also made this shrooms on a stick let's let's check it out y'all oh it fills me a hole that's good that's really oh fried egg no you can't do it yet let me make another one and another one beautiful man 
I like the shrooms on a stick. I don't know if that's the only thing I can make, but I'm glad I got a few of them here. Alright. Did she make anything for him? No, not yet. It's going to take her a little while, most likely. Alright, let's go see what old boy has now. Oh man, now I got I got to do all kind of stuff with doors. I'm going to have to soon. Now I see why they jump it over everything. I need to make pathways between all this stuff. All right, well, well, well. My bubble, uh, wait, by my bulbous be belly? <laughs> it seems we have a kitchen now. This creative power of yours is a wonderful thing. I wonder if your culinary skills are equally exemplary. What say you test them out and make me something to eat? Uh, oh, am I your maid now? What? Make it yourself? You build your whole kitchen for Pippa, but you won't even make me a single measly meal? Listen, Rolo, you came up in here and started talking stuff about your beard, and you started sleeping right next to my girl? Bildrick, you wound me. I thought we were friends. Yeah, me too, Rolo. By the way, I should mention that I somewhat delicious looking orange mushrooms growing down by the water's edge. I'm sure you can make me a terrific meal out of the fine ingredients like that. Three servings should be do the trick. We have an agreement, friend. Bildrick, my friend, do I detect a succulent scent of freshly roasted mushroom <laughs> mushrooms? The fragrance alone is mellow medley of mouth-watering flavors. By my gro growling gizzard, these shall make a magnificent meal. Come now, hand them over quick, quick, quick. Oh, yes, fine, fine. Mmm, chomp, mmm, <laughs> guzzle, slurp. Marvelous work, Bildrick. We have to rename you Cooker. Uh, the Candlin Chronicle covers a wide range of topics. The chapters concerning the preparation of hearty, healthy meals of our particular... Pardon? You want to see it yourself? The Candlin Chronicle? With your own two eyes? I'm sorry, Bildrick, but the book is a priceless family heirloom. I can't just go parading it around in front of everyone that asks. And besides, the tome is written in an ancient and cryptic script. There's no way that you or anyone else could be able to read it. What little knowledge I have myself of Gleave... Wait... I've gleaned from it has taken years of painstaking study. However, I have not a single doubt that this book holds the key to restoring the city to its former greatness. I shall not rest until I have deciphered each and every one of its secrets. But fear not, my friend, I will not keep these secrets to myself. As soon as I make a breakthrough in my studies, you'll be the first to know. And as for these mushrooms, it's only fair that you should taste the fruits of your labors too. Take this as a token of our everlasting friendship. Shroom on a stick. You know, I don't know about this cat. I really don't. I don't know about him, you guys. I'm kind of suspicious, but we're going to find out more in the coming episodes, y'all. I hope y'all really enjoyed this one. If you did, give me some dap on that like button to show you support, and you can subscribe to the channel for more daily videos. Thanks so much for watching. As always, this is Uljan signing off, and we'll see you next time.